What I'm about to show you is absolutely insane, groundbreaking, and will forever change the way that people build apps. I've been looking for the perfect workflow to go from Figma to working application, and I finally got it. Figma is the leading design tool that every designer, UI, UX, uses to build cutting edge interfaces for their applications. So I use Figma whenever I'm working with my design team or if I'm wireframing my app idea. So what you see here on the screen is a real UI UX um, design that I got from my design team for our custom Ambitious Labs learning platform. We're building a brand new AI enabled learning platform for our builders to use AI to go from idea to launching their app into the store. For those of y'all who don't know, Ambitious Labs is a venture backed um, ed tech company and our vision and mission is to enable everybody with the skills that they need to launch their app ideas. So we're not just a flutter flow course. We're not just a no code course. We are an entrepreneurship program that teaches anybody with an idea, invaluable business skills and full stack no code development skills to enable them to build any of their ideas. So anyways, we are building a brand new bespoke custom learning platform and this is the UI UX that we're going to be implementing. And finally, I found a no-code tool that I think I'm 99.99999% confident this is the no-code tool that we're going to use to build our learning platform. And it is called WeWeb. So WeWeb is an awesome JavaScript-based um, no-code tool that allows you to build production-grade web apps. And the reason I'm choosing WeWeb over Flutterflow is because WeWeb is JavaScript-based, whereas Flutterflow is Flutter-based. JavaScript is the language of the internet, and you must be building web apps using JavaScript. That is plain and simple, no arguments. Come at me in the comments if you think that you can build a web app with anything less than JavaScript. I'll take that challenge all day long. You cannot build a web app if it's not JavaScript. JavaScript is the language of the internet um, and I'll take any argument that you wanna give me. So WeWeb is the tool that we're committing to to build our custom learning platform and one big reason we're doing this is because of how beautiful their Copilot feature is. So they have a feature where I literally can go from Figma to uh, WeWeb so I can have a fully working app in just three clicks. So I'm gonna show you how I would import, say this forgot password element from a simple page. So I'm gonna click on the frame here in Figma, then go to my Figma plugins and type WeWeb, Figma to WeWeb toolkit. I'm gonna change this to design, okay? And it says selected content. I'm gonna hit generate design. That's gonna copy the output to the clipboard. So then I'm gonna go back to WeWeb, hit add new section, first put a section on the screen, and then I'll set the height to fixed, and I'll say a thousand pixels. That should make the container height pretty large. Then I'm gonna hit add again and add a container. That's gonna bring a container onto the screen. I'll also say 1000 pixels for the container, and I'm going to set the background color of all this to the same background color of my Figma, which if I go back to Figma, I can select as this. Beautiful, now I have my container. Then all I'm gonna do is click Copilot, import from Figma, or excuse me, I haven't gone back and selected it yet. So I'm gonna first go back, click on forgot password, generate this design. Then I'm gonna come back here, Copilot, import from Figma, and just paste it, boom. So now you can see I just added literally an entire design element from Figma to WeWeb. So right now it seems to be having some alignment issues but that's totally cool. I'm gonna click on the container and I'm going to set the alignment to middle. It seems like there is some alignment issue here but that's totally fine. All I gotta do is come to the parent container, align that to the middle, and then I can click on the parent container again, align it to the center. And as you can see, I didn't quite pull in my icon as I wanted, but that's totally cool. I can just go back to the main image here, export it, click export featured icon, export this out, and then all I gotta do is change the source of it right over here in WeWeb. So choose image, upload new image, go downloads, featured icon, upload all, click on it and boom. In just 
a couple minutes, I went from Figma to WeWeb and I have a fully functioning app. And as you can see, these are real buttons, real input fields. These aren't just images that are copied from Figma and brought over to a no-code tool. This is absolutely game-changing and I think that WeWeb is absolutely crushing it when it comes to the workflow integration. And this is one reason that I'm super excited about WeWeb. So if you're building a web app, um, WeWeb definitely seems very promising. I'm excited to continue exploring it, but we are going to be using WeWeb to build our um, learning platform. So super excited for what the future holds. If you're exploring uh, web apps, if you're exploring building a SaaS, I think WeWeb is onto something um, and their pricing is a lot better than most no-code tools out there. I'm a huge advocate. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'm excited to see what y'all come up with. Leave a link in the comments. If you've tried WeWeb, if you're exploring other tools, we'd love to hear more about y'all. Take care.